morning to all my YouTube friends. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And I hope you might consider subscribing uh, because if you would like to learn more about gardening, um, home decor, crafts, decorating for the holidays, even a little bit of cooking, <laughs> anything to make your home a more welcoming and cozy place, then you're here at the right channel. And um, you can subscribe by hitting the little uh, red subscribe button below. And you can even click on the notification bell if you like. So today, guys, uh, you'll see my next video clip is going to be uh, a visit my daughter and I made last week to Junk Fest. And it was actually quite fun and we each bought one item. We did not go overboard with spending, but um, I actually purchased, and you'll see it in the video, this dough bowl. It's very long, but it's quite narrow. And I, the reason I bought it is because I actually already have a dough bowl that I got on sale at Hobby Lobby, but it's quite wide. And if you'd like to see what I did with that dough bowl, uh, you can click on uh, the card that I'm gonna put right up here uh, and see the lemon uh, tablescape that I did using that dough bowl. And I really do like it. The problem is because it is so wide and my dining room table is a little bit more narrow, uh, it kind of fills up the whole table, it takes up too much space especially if I'm using it, you know, for entertaining. So I told my daughter, I will give you the dough bowl that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I will go ahead and get this one, which will fit on my table much better. So that was my purchase, and it cost $30. And it is a, an authentic vintage uh, dough bowl, so I'm very happy about that. It was not a bad price. And then my daughter, she bought this sugar mold for $15, which I thought was also a good price. This is an authentic uh, sugar mold. And I learned that the sugar molds were used in the past um, as a way of taking raw cane sugar and they would pour it into these cones because these are cone shaped. And then, you know, when it hardened, dump it out. And that's how you bought sugar back in those days in uh, these cone shapes. Interesting, huh? <laughs> but we're gonna use it to make a flower arrangement for my daughter's house. And so I, that's what I'm going to be doing after we take a look at Junk Fest today. And I'll be back shortly.
yesterday I stopped by Joann's because they were having an incredible sale. So they uh, had almost everything, the florals, especially the ones left over from the summer, were marked down to 70% off and others like this one here was only 40% off, but still a very good deal. And if you spent a certain amount, you got another 25% off your total. So it even included clearance items. I just couldn't resist. And it was uh, enabled me to get everything I needed to put together an arrangement here in the sugar mold for my daughter. So I'm going to start trying to put something together here and let you watch me do this and see if you like what the final effect is. Let's see, I wanna make sure you can see what I'm doing. So this one has a very short stem and I can just place it right on in there uh, in the mold and it fits perfectly. Um, I have lots of these uh, different short stemmed items, such as this one with the little white blooms here. And uh, some of these I may cut off, I'm not quite sure, we'll see. it's going to go beautifully in my daughter's house with her new decor that she's been working on. So I'm loving that. How pretty. All right. So that's my first job today. And then back to the dough bowl. Now guys, I was considering using some uh, gray paint on it and I was just going to use this um, let's see this is a slate gray acrylic paint by deco art and I was considering dry brushing a little bit onto this bowl because it's so dark and I kind of would like to lighten it up so I think I might start a little bit on the bottom and you all can watch and see what you think do you think I should do this or maybe not Let's try it. Here I have my paint on this little paper plate, leftover plate from 4th of July. And I'm just kind of wiping off, dipping my paintbrush in, but wiping some away to give it not much on the brush. And, you know, of course I can take a damp rag and get rid of some of this if I like, but here we are on the bottom of my dough bowl because I was kind of afraid to try it on the top. But I like this gray color. I'll give you a better look here. I kind of like that. So I honestly, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add it to both sides. I think I'm going to like it. I actually think it looks a little bit more aged and brings out more of the uh, distressed look of the dough bowl. So let's go ahead and finish this up. I'll do the bottom and then of course flip it over to do the top. product here with the sugar mold. I really think it's going to be bright and cheerful in my daughter's house and I love the uh, collection of shades of green, white, and then those little pops of the pink tiny berries. I think my daughter will like the arrangement quite a bit. And then here is my dough bowl, 
after I have dry brushed it with the slate gray color. I'm very happy with it. It's not too much. I didn't want it to be a solid gray. I just wanted it to be brightened up. Not quite such a dark brown to go with my decor. So I am just thrilled with the way these two items turned out from Junk Fest. Thanks for watching today and I hope you're all doing great and I will see you in my next video. This is Mary saying bye.